We sold a house in one day. What does that actually mean? It's a hot market. That phrase is tossed around quite a bit. But to answer that question, I think we have to go back a step. So come along today. We'll talk about the process of selling a home and what it actually means to quote unquote, sell a house in one day. Just came to the office, just had lunch with Pat and Hannah. So getting here now. Um, step number one, reach out, contact an agent and go from there. Um, we're gonna spin to Pat right here and see the second that somebody contacts her as an agent, what's that process and how does it start? Um, hi, so when we um, get a call about um, selling a house, what I do is um, chat with them for a bit, you know, find out the address, the particulars about the house, um, and then we go ahead and schedule an appointment. Um, I do a two-step process. So what that means um, is the first one is to really uh, confirm data about the house. Um, I wanna know the DNA. Um, I wanna know the square footage, bathrooms, um, mechanicals, updates that they've done. So that's the first appointment. Um, we spend about a half hour there and then I schedule a second one to come back with the goods and the goods are what is their house worth what's the value um, and then at that time too I also go over our marketing plan if everything's good you know we, we end up signing the contract and getting things in order for the next phase which is going to be um, getting things in place our marketing plan and then from there we start to execute that marketing plan we'll talk about that next It's actually the next day. I'm actually heading out of the office. Me and Pat just filmed two podcasts. Um, good, bad, and the ugly of being a real estate agent. Then also things that she's seen over the few years of her being an agent, the 23 years. And then the top few things that she wished she knew before she became an agent. So check those things out. What we ended on yesterday was uh, Pat talking about um, pre-listing documents, how we approach listing appointments, and um, listing with a CMA, uh, presenting our marketing material. And where we left off is our marketing plan. We always, always, always do professional photos. If you have an agent that's not doing professional photos, get a new agent. Uh, for the most part, we are doing drones. We are doing flow, floor plans, which is nothing but above and beyond. And then we are doing or starting to utilize FPV drones, first person view drones flying through giving a perspective of uh, the home uh, that is uh, very similar to a 360 walkthrough, but you're just not clicking. I would go as far to say is a minimum of entry should be professional photos, but get yourself an agent that's utilizing FPV or all of the digital, uh, uh, digital formats of listing presentations as possible. What we're doing is professional photos, um, floor plans, 360 walkthroughs, the click-throughs, drones, FPV drones, and uh, if your agent's not utilizing those things or taking pictures with a disposable camera or uh, an iPhone, get yourself a new agent, is what I would say, because um, we need to provide a lot of value and prove that we're providing a lot of value. We do that every single listing. Um, right now, a year ago, presentation didn't necessarily matter, but right now, presentation does matter. Uh, another thing that we're utilizing in a pre-listing uh, um, aspect of things is uh, pre-inspections. We're making sure we're proactive on any fronts of bad situations or, or, or situations that we can solve and be proactive on to make sure that through inspection, we're never having any issues. So head to check out a, a listing right now. We had a, a bit of concerns come up with a uh, an agent checking out the property. So I'm gonna go check on it right now. Come along with me. We'll talk about the next one. So after we have done a lot of our pre-listing tasks, are executing our marketing plan, doing listing docs, um, agreeing on contracts, list price, uh, submitting all of those MLS necessary docs to make sure that we have a, a good listing, is going live. Um, so up until this point, we haven't even hit the market just yet and we've invested a lot of time, money, energy, emotion 
um, I'd even say weeks, three to four, maybe even longer weeks to actually get this place um, up and running um, or being able to go live. Um, and, and that's the next step is, is going live and hitting the market. step would be showings, open houses, and having constant contact with agents answering questions from buyers. Um, obviously, our presentation is our current presentation with what we've done to get it to where we are today. But yeah, wait, uh, wait for showings, get those showings going. Hopefully, you're priced uh, accordingly and marketed properly and uh, uh, wait for offers. If we've got offers, you know, now our due diligence starts. So we want to make sure that these buyers are qualified, having conversations with lenders to, to verify down payments, maybe, and not necessarily getting the, the basic or the, uh, the uh, uh, detailed information of that income ratios or actual income. But we want to have a conversation with those lenders, one, know who they are, and then two, make sure those buyers are actually qualified to be buying our home or our seller's house. Once we have offers or we're under contract, uh, the clock starts for both sides. So, you know, buyers and sellers are both working through inspections. Um, one, get it done, and then two, talk about it. Uh, do we have repairs that we need to do? Um, and we're look, kind of looking for elephants and not ants. We're looking for things that are gonna set us back um, or set a buyer back. Uh, something that's an elephant, not an ant, and uh, could set them back for, uh, you know, quite a few thousands of dollars or be a, a, a major concern to health and safety. So work through those things. Then the next thing is title work, and that's mainly on a sell side thing. If we've done our job correctly, and that's one thing that we do always, we'll get preliminary title work on, done day one of signing a contract to make sure that we have our ducks in a row. Not every single agent does that. Some agents will start that process the second they get into the contract. The positive is, is if you do that early and often and before you're even under contract, you're gonna have that box checked and you're gonna know you're gonna have a clean transition of uh, title work. Just getting here to our listing right now. Hidden Hills, awesome log cabin. Uh, the next few points would be uh, working through the appraisal. Um, and uh, that's a key part of our job. You know, provide this data, show our comparables, and that's also a part of the appraiser's job and making sure that they're doing their due diligence. But at the end of the day, if we're providing with that data and um, that information, it's hopefully gonna make their job a little bit easier. So we're showing them where we've gotten that value. In. And then we're waiting on financing. So that's a big lender thing. We're waiting for those lenders to work through that process and get us that clear to close. And then we're headed to the finish line. Once we've gotten that clear to close, we can review those closing docs and uh, we can get ready for closing. So I guess what we're trying to say is, is selling a house in one day is not necessarily possible. If you've done your job correctly, getting under contract in one day is possible, but that takes a big financial investment. That takes weeks to execute if you have the chance to get under contract in one day in this market. And if there's one thing to leave with, do your homework, do your job right. Make sure you're pricing homes with data in mind and, and good CMAs. Represent your clients and your properties to the best of your ability. And if you do all of that, you can get the opportunity to potentially go into contract in one day. Could you sell a house in one day? For sure. That happens very few and far between. And it would come down to somebody with a lot of money and a lot of interest to waive inspections, waive contingencies, uh, because they love that house so much. Thanks for coming along. And it kind of evolved more into a, um, a process of how we list homes and how we're working with listings uh, and sellers to get homes sold. Uh, great information nonetheless. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, put them down. Uh, we would love to address those things and maybe uh, provide some more value for, for new agents or new sellers to make sure that they're represented properly.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to use those like, comment, and share buttons below. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pat Lots Real Estate for more helpful home buying and selling tips. Want a free comparable market analysis? Scan that QR code on your screen or visit our website at www.patlots.com and fill out the request form. There's lots to love in Livingston County.